Brompton Cemetery. An oasis of tranquility in bustling 21st century London. An eternal landscape that has welcomed the dead and the living since 1840. In the early 1800s, London was a very different place. People flocked here for better paid jobs created by the Industrial Revolution. But many were forced to live in slums rife with disease. Drinking water was contaminated and the air was thick with the stench of decay. There was barely room for the living, let alone the dead. A solution had to be found. Private companies spotted an opportunity to address the problem. They built seven large garden cemeteries in the countryside around London. These became known as the Magnificent Seven, and Brompton Cemetery is one of them. Brompton was a quiet hamlet known for its flower gardens and plant nurseries. But the site for the new cemetery was flat and featureless, so the architect Benjamin Board had to come up with something special to attract customers. He took inspiration from classical architecture and laid out the site in the form of a vast open-air cathedral. A grand entrance opens onto the tree-lined Central Avenue. Colonnaded arcades provide classical grandeur. The Great Circle, based on St. Peter's Piazza in Rome. Extensive catacombs, hidden behind iron gates. The chapel, with its heavenly dome above. Board's plan was ambitious, but building costs doubled and the cemetery company ran out of money. Although he never fully realized his vision, Benjamin Board created the landscape of many jewels we enjoy today. Commemorating loved ones was important to the Victorians. A monument was vital, and Brompton Cemetery boasts around 35,000 of them. Many of the most eye-catching are on the Central Avenue, where they're sure to be seen. A wealthy family might invest in a mausoleum to house several generations. The Victorian middle classes could aspire to an elegant headstone. A shelf in the underground catacombs was more affordable, but the idea didn't catch on and many remain empty to this day. A common or shared grave was cheaper still, with no headstone to mark your last resting place. Symbolism was also important to the Victorians, and the cemetery is packed with symbols that speak of life, love and loss. Angels stand as perpetual mourners. A broken column indicates a life cut short. An anchor of faith offers hope to families. But tastes change and today's monuments tend to be simpler, although they're no less significant to those left behind. Many inspiring people have been buried at Brompton Cemetery. Activists like Emmeline Pankhurst, who risked her freedom to play a pivotal role in securing the vote for women. 
Scientists like Dr. John Snow, a physician who saved millions of lives by discovering that cholera was spread by infected drinking water. Cultural figures like Sir Henry Cole, who brought us the Victoria and Albert Museum and Christmas cards. Industrialists like Sir John Fowler, who was chief engineer of the world's first underground railway here in London. Heroes like Reginald Warnford, who was given the Victoria Cross after becoming the first airman to shoot down a German airship. People from far and wide, like Chief Longwolf, a veteran Sioux warrior who died while performing in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. And Emma Shaw, the first person to be buried here. She died during childbirth, like so many women of her time. These notable figures lie alongside more than 200,000 others from all walks of life. And no one's been forgotten as every burial is recorded by hand in the registers which go all the way back to 1840. London expanded to envelop Brompton Cemetery, but its walls still preserve a treasured fragment of the original countryside. That's why some of its plants and animals are more reminiscent of a country meadow than a great metropolis. Garden designer John Claudius Loudon originally planted 21 kinds of tree, but people have since added their own to commemorate loved ones. These trees and countless other plants provide a haven for wildlife. Long grass and wildflowers attract butterflies and bees. Thick undergrowth offer shelter for birds and insects. Dead wood provides food for bugs and fungi. At dusk, you might even spot the bats and foxes that have made this their home. Brompton was designed as a garden cemetery, intended to be as valuable to the living as for the dead. The Victorians enjoyed spending time here, and many people still do. For some, it's a place for quiet contemplation. For others, it's a space for leisure. On weekdays, it's a thoroughfare for hundreds of commuters. And for the lucky few, it's their place of work. Today, Brompton Cemetery's landscapes and buildings are protected. It's cared for by the Royal Parks with the help of the Friends of Brompton Cemetery. And it continues to provide a welcome sanctuary for all who come here.